What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I know you've probably dual mined before, maybe even triple mined, but have you ever quadruple mined? I've been searching for at least three or four algorithms that I could mine simultaneously and still maintain stability on my mining rigs and I think I may have found it. But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so by the end of the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at HiveOS real quick. Now we're looking at my rig called Alderon, which consists of six 3070 TIs. And you'll notice we have Elephium, Ergo, Varus, and Iron all mining simultaneously. However, Varus is actually being mined on my CPU. So that one doesn't technically count. It's this one right here with Ergo on Rigel Miner. I actually have a second coin, which in this case is Caspa. It's just not showing up right here, but we'll get into the flight sheet here in just a moment. Now, I have tried a lot of different algorithms and stability is definitely a problem, but so far we're going on almost five hours on this particular rig. And you'll notice we only have rejected shares on SRB miner, which is mining to my CPU. So all of the GPU algorithms that are mining right now are running just fine. And after a little bit of tinkering and overclocking, I've managed to get my wattage pretty low. We're down to 766 watts in software here. Now I've got another rig, Naboo, which is four 3070s and two 3080s. And you can see we've, we're using the same flight sheet here. Now, notice my CPU is running a little hot. I'm only doing this kind of as an example to show you that you can mine five different algorithms all on the same rig simultaneously. Now, this is different than perhaps dual mining two coins and then switching to Zill periodically throughout the day. This is actually mining four different algorithms simultaneously on the same GPU. Now, Granted, profitability is terrible right now. And having said that, you perhaps can be profitable mining one specific algorithm, and then perhaps you want to trade that for something that you're more interested in holding long-term. But perhaps when profitability comes back, this would be a option for you to collect as much of these coins as you possibly can. Now, the other thing to consider here is it is possible to mine, I believe, up to nine different algorithms simultaneously, or at least from a discussion that I had with BZ Miner, he says that that is possible and he has done it before. However, it's a bit complicated and HiveOS presents some challenges when trying to do that. And I haven't dived all the way into that. I think we'll make a video on that at some point. And one thing to keep in mind here is some miners do optimize two coins together, meaning it is more beneficial to mine both of them simultaneously than it would be to mine them independently. Now, in this particular case, we're not really using anything that's optimized for one another. So, for example, BZ Miner may be optimized for Ironfish and Ergo simultaneously. And in this particular case, we're using a bunch of different miners, so nothing's really optimized here. And because of that, profitability is probably going to suffer a little bit. However, like I said, this is mining four different algorithms simultaneously. So we may be sacrificing a little bit of profit, but perhaps in the future, this is something that's implemented where we find that there are more than two algorithms that can be optimized to be mined at the same time. So I've tried a variety of things. A couple of the algorithms that really don't play nice with the others would be Nexa, Flux, and Dynex. In most cases, you can dual mine those algorithms with another coin, uh, but typically you can't mine three algorithms or more simultaneously without running into some significant stability issues. But in this particular case, it's running pretty well so far. So let me go ahead and show you what we're doing on the pool here. So first up, we've got Ironfish. You can see the current hash rate is 33 giga hash. We've been averaging about 38.72 giga hash for the last hour. And looks like we're garnering roughly about 43 cents a day in profit. 
or excuse me, in revenue. And then on lithium, we're doing about 73 cents a day. On ergo, we're doing about 94 cents a day. And on Caspa, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. We're currently sitting at about 1.26 giga hash. Not exactly sure what that's going to come out to, but Caspa is one of those that's, you know, not not really GPU friendly at this point. We've got a lot of ASICs on the network, so perhaps you want to replace Caspa with something like Radeon. Okay, so what does revenue and profitability look like when mining these particular four coins simultaneously? Well. Unfortunately, it's not profitable, especially if you're over 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And I went ahead and took the liberty and put the numbers in here. So we've got about 4.69 gigahash on Alephium, 37.6 gigahash on Ironfish, 468 megahash on Ergo, 1.262 gigahash on Caspa, and 7.24 megahash on Veriscoin. So we're looking at total revenue of $2.43 a day, but our power is costing us $3.84 at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And this is going to give us a negative profit of $1.41. And how does that compare to mining anything else? So let's say, for example, if you had these exact same GPUs on one particular algorithm, at the moment, Nurai would be the most profitable with a revenue of $7.48 a day and a profit of $1.63. So we've basically doubled profit here. Instead of losing $1.60, we're gaining $1.60 at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And then we've got Dynex next at $4.80 in revenue and $1.06 in profit. So, you know, obviously it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you are mining to sell immediately. But if you are just trying to accumulate uh, several of these different coins simultaneously, uh, that may be a decent way to go, but we'll have to compare mining each individual algorithm all by itself. Let's say, for example, 24 hours on Alethium, and then 24 hours on Caspa, and then 24 hours on Ironfish, and then 24 hours on Ergo. Then we would have a better or clearer picture as to whether or not it's better to mine them simultaneously, or if it's better to mine them individual. So what does this look like in a flight sheet? Well first before we get to that point let me say that again talking to BZ Miner it is possible on BZ Miner to mine nine algorithms simultaneously. Now they're not going to be optimized meaning you're essentially just splitting the hash rate between all of the different coins on your GPU. So it's not like you're going to get a boost on any specific algorithm. However, like I said, I have yet to find more than three coins that I could mine simultaneously without coming into issues on stability. And for that reason, this is how I have my flight sheet set up. So first up, we've got a lithium and we're using hero miners for testing and we're using LOL miner. Then next up, we've got ergo and we are also mining to hero miners here using Rigel Miner. But if we go into the setup miner config, you're going to see a second coin here, which is Caspa or K heavy hash for the algorithm. And then next up, we've got Varus, which I am only mining on my CPU. Notice that we have dash dash disabled dash GPU here. And then last up, we've got Ironfish, which we are mining on BZ Miner. So we are using four different miners to mine five different coins on one particular rig. So I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below if you have been mining more than two or three coins simultaneously on the same GPU. And if so, which coins are you mining and have you run into stability issues? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content today. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys on the next one.